as you can see on the right here here it's 777 now so we're good to go so let's go back to the installation folder and recheck requirements there we go we have all requirement passed so hit continue now here's the license key we are, we're going to get from the client area I'm going to go back to here and we have this license key right let's copy this over and copy it okay so go back here and paste it here there we go so the database host should be localhost that's that means the database server is residing on the same server as your website files is hosted so you don't have to change that so the, the database uh, the database name I'm going to use the one we used before we created one right so it's gonna be it memo underscore WHMCS database username it memo WHMCS and the password is the one we just emailed to ourselves so let's um, use that uh, copy this whole thing okay and paste it but before you paste it make sure you paste it somewhere else and make sure there's no white space included right so here there's some white space right so I'm gonna remove the white space I'm gonna copy the whole thing again I'm gonna copy it so whenever you're copying password make sure you're not copying any white spaces there okay paste it here hit continue that's it now I'm gonna pause this I'm gonna fill it up there okay I fill it out I'm gonna hit the continue button now awesome installation complete so um, there's a few steps which we have to do okay I'm gonna point this out to you so the first one I'm gonna use the pen the first one we, we have to delete the installation folder so let's let's do that now delete it okay and go back to file manager and scroll up there we go tick here and hit delete here so are you sure oh nope I choose too fast sorry about that no I don't want to delete the configuration so I'm going to uncheck this scroll up again and make sure just delete one file yes so that's done and let's go back here I'm going to refresh this secure the writable directory set up daily cron job and conf configure WHMCS so um, that's pretty much it let's refresh this oops sorry about that so the installation part is done what we need to do to access the admin part here's the WHMCS installed now to log into the admin section simply go to your uh, domain name here slash clients or whatever folder or directory you use to rename your initial WHMCS installation folder and use admin there you go so we simply log in here admin with my password Uh, I'm going to check the remember here and hit login so there we go I just um, shown you on how you can install your WHMCS yourself and now it's time to configure the whole thing for your company to start accepting your first sale I'm going to separate the configuration videos into a whole new a separate section of videos so that's it for um, this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.